good morning. Uh, welcome to uh, Construction Marketing Ideas. This is a special uh, video interview with Heather Pastinelli of Old Castle Building Solutions. Old Castle uh, overcame quite a bit of competition to become the best construction blog of 2017. Uh, there were more than 30 entries and hundreds of popular votes, as well as uh, judges, uh, five independent judges, all reviewed and uh, by a very wide margin, Old Castle won the competition. Um, Heather is responsible for digital marketing at Old Castle and uh, has agreed to uh, interview with us to give some insights into the blog's history and a bit about the company and how it is successful. So I'm going to give Heather an opportunity to introduce herself and also tell a bit about Old Castle Building Solutions. Thank you, Mark. We're very excited to have been named the best construction blog this year. It's a great honor, so thank you very much for hosting the competition and to everyone who voted and to everyone at our company who has contributed to the blog. It's uh, definitely been a lot of hard work that goes into it, but it's absolutely paying off. So a little bit about me. I'm the Director of Digital Marketing at Old Castle Building Solutions. And Old Castle, if you're not familiar, we're a part of a global building materials organization called CRH. And Old Castle is our North American arm. And we make and manufacture and distribute products for just about any aspect of a building project from anything from underground infrastructure to materials like asphalt and aggregates, concrete, to go into a bunch of different infrastructure type projects to vertical build products such as glass and glazing, masonry, drywall, steel studs, roofing, siding, solar panels, pretty much anything that you can imagine that goes on a construction project. Um, you name it, we have it. Thank you. That is an incredibly extensive uh, uh, um, scale of operation. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the blog's history, as much as you know, and how it came to be and how it's evolved. Absolutely. So the blog has been live for just over two years, and the Building Solutions team at Old Castle is relatively new. And I'll give you a little bit of history about our team just so that you can understand the context of the blog and how it came to be. So our team has been focused on going out and letting the construction industry understand how a company like Old Castle can help simplify the construction process for them. As we all know, construction can get very, very complicated. I mean, there's a lot of timelines and deadlines to be met. And with the vast array of products that we have and the fact that they can be used together as systems and purchased as a group, we can help different folks in the construction industry make that a lot easier because they have a single group to come to. And our group, the Building Solutions Group, is somewhat of an entry point to all of those different businesses and the very, very vast world of Old Castle. Because like you mentioned, it is, it's, it can be overwhelming at times, but our team helps make that scale a lot more approachable. And so we saw through that process, we could do that in a digital way as well help make it easier to understand what we make, where we make it, and where you can get it. And then all of the great educational resources and vast history and experience that our team has in the construction industry, we could share that in a digital way to provide helpful educational resources for people looking to answers for their questions about construction products, materials, processes, new innovations, where the market is headed through data and trends, and then some more fun things like safety videos that are entertaining and fun to watch but still teach people how to be more safe in their organizations. So by marrying up what we were doing with our team, we could replicate that through our blog and provide those informational resources to a much wider audience. That's good. Now, uh, the question comes to mind is, is how, how, much, how much resources are put into this and how much, I guess bluntly, how much does it cost? Um, and how, and how have, you learned, uh, have you learned ways to improve your efficiency and effectiveness in maintaining blogs? Absolutely. Well, on our team, we have a dedicated content manager, and she is focused on resources and 
generating content, whether we're writing it ourselves by interviewing our own internal folks or gathering that from our different um, internal folks and putting it all together and maintaining the schedule. So it's something that we're working on daily is figuring out what we want to be talking about, coming up with a content plan. And that's largely based on what people are engaging with, you know, what types of articles and blogs are getting the most traction and the most traffic. And we've seen a lot of things like people wanting to know where are construction costs headed, you know, where is the market going, what's going to happen because of the election, all sorts of different factors that are influencing our industry. So she is focused on talking to our internal folks, making sure we understand that and we're talking about relevant things like that, putting it into a schedule and make sure we're publishing that regularly. Can you give me an idea of, of um, uh, what the viewership is and uh, also if, if you have exceptionally uh, uh, successful posts, what they are? Bear with that. We'll just have to carry on. Sure. Um, so we we have thousands of people viewing our blogs each month, and some of <laughs> okay. Well, Heather, could you give me an idea of the number of viewers of your blog and a bit about the um, the posts that are most effective and what makes them effective? Yes, absolutely. So we have thousands of people visiting our blog each month, and many of them have subscribed and come back time and time again to read all of our latest articles. Um, what was the second part of that question? Um, what Maybe was the most effective second. post? And do you have a, a more specific number? Can you actually quantify it uh, a little more finally than that, than thousands and thousands? Um, you know, it varies from month to month, so there it, it goes up and down, but it's always thousands of views every month. The most effective types of posts that we're seeing are the ones largely focused around very relevant and timely happenings within the construction industry, such as where are construction costs headed, um, what is the, going to be the result or the impact of the election on construction, as well as posts around our safety blog. Those are very, very popular because people really like to engage with fun, humorous, but still educational posts. And then things around topics like millennials are very hot topics, things that are questions on everybody's mind as well as posts around um, product advice and product comparisons. Those can be very, very popular as well. What's the difference between this material and this material? Things that we find that people are often Googling or have a question about, and then they stumble upon our blog as the answer to that. Thank you. Um, this is a, a, always a challenge in marketing, but the question of a measuring results is an interesting one, and that is, can you quantify any um, ROI or business results from the blog? And if so, can you give me some of those metrics and, and if, if it's not confidential, what they are? Um, sure, well, I'll, I'll talk about the, the key performance indicators or KPIs that we're tracking month over month. And I'll say that because we're still a relatively young blog, I mean, we are looking at all that and benchmarking it and setting some goals to it, but that is continually evolving and changing. And I suppose that's just a, a result of being a fairly new site. Um, so monthly, we're looking at number of uh, our traffic, the number of subscribers that we have, and seeing that increase month over month. Um, the number of people who are converting or coming onto the site to download something. Um, session duration, so how many people are coming on and how long are they staying on the site. And then things like bounce rate, you know, did somebody come on and read one article and then leave the site, or did they come on and read multiple articles and visit multiple pages of the site. We're also looking at the success of our promotion efforts and where did the traffic come from? So referrals, did they come from social media? Did they come from other websites? Did they come from our email marketing efforts? And then looking at our SEO efforts and what keywords we're targeting and how we're ranking for those and how we can target blogs around those different metrics. And I'll say that 
any of these, you have to put in context with what's happening during that month, whether we've um, done a huge promotional push and gotten a lot of traffic from that, or the time of year. I mean, we typically see a little bit of a, a decline towards the end of the year as people get busy with the holidays. But seeing, measuring our short-term results against our long-term results is very important because while we may see a dip in November because it gets very, very busy and we have holidays happening, if it was higher than last year's November, then that's a positive trend that we're seeing. I, I realize this is a challenge, especially in a complex business and where a blog obviously is going to be only one of many variables in the marketing process. Uh, but have you tracked any, or is there any way you can track uh, what I guess is conversion? That is, uh, situations where people who may have been clients for one of Old Castle's services because of the blog discover something else and that results in an uptick in sales, or um, obviously new customers coming into the fold and actually translating down to the point that there's actually a hard lead for um, either your your dealers or your salespeople to actually turn into business. Um, are, you, are you able to get that type of quantification or is that just asking too much? It's, it's difficult, I'll say that, to connect all of our different systems together, but we are certainly seeing some traction in that in that realm, um, people reaching out to us saying, hey, I have a project and I need help figuring out what products are best to use, or I need help designing this. And then we're able to bring in our different experts internally to help those folks. So we are starting to track that, but I'll say it's more, it's difficult and it's easier said than done for sure. But, but you are seeing signs of that sort of thing happening, yes. which is, um, yes. which brings joy to the, the uh, the, uh, the heart of the bean counters and also presumably the salespeople who <laughs> see, oh boy, I've got some business because of this. Is, 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 is yes, so absolutely. And simply the fact that, like you mentioned, existing customers may learn something new, either a product or service that we offer or just a new trend that's happening in the construction industry. If we're able to help make their business better by the the information and content that we're putting out there, then that's a success as well. And those things are certainly much harder to quantify because they're not a hard number, but when we hear those stories, we certainly um, know that we are being helpful and improving those folks' businesses. Thank you. Um, now, looking beyond your own business into the, the audience out here, which includes uh, hopefully mostly non-competitive businesses, um, do you have any advice uh, based on your experience on how to make a, an effective blog, both both in terms of the content and also the management of it, so that it it the results for the effort are worthwhile? Absolutely. So first and foremost, it's important to have a plan, and that's one of the things that we have focused on the most is creating a plan. You know, knowing who your audience is, who you want to talk to, um, what type of content or articles or topics you're going to be talking about, having a plan to promote and get that content out there, whether that's through social media or email marketing or a variety of other channels, and then what you want to measure, because those may be different for every company and success may look different for different people. But it's extremely important to know what those components are and then to document that, to write it down. Um, we found that we are much more successful and much more focused when having a written plan versus simply flying by the seat of our pants and you know knowing what we're doing but not really having that written down. And it's much easier to communicate that with different people who may be interested in our approach when we have it written down. And can you just describe how that plan is built? I think you may have alluded to this earlier in the interview, but um, um, do you like have a daily or weekly meeting or planning process, or, or how 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 how's it how's it developed? Sure. Well, we have a an editorial calendar that we use to manage all of the content, and we have regular check-ins on that plan and schedule that we are then allowed to shift things around if somebody can't make a deadline or if something takes a little bit longer than we planned. We know we may have something in the queue that we can pull up to publish earlier than something else. 
And we sit down and have several brainstorm sessions around what we want to be talking about based on our internal resources and knowing that we have experts in certain fields or about certain product types or in our market intelligence with our data and trends reports or our safety team. Um, we also brainstorm with those folks and get ideas from them. And we like to know, you know, what are they hearing people talk about in the field? What questions are our customers asking? Because those are the types of things that we want to be writing about. Okay. Um, do you have an idea, do you have a vision for the future of the blog or, or um, evolutions? Absolutely. And I'll say that it's been a constant evolution and growth around you know, what audiences we're targeting and always spending more time learning about those different folks because those are the people that we are writing for and want to help with the information that we're putting out there. So there will be constant, um, constant plans to look to know more about those folks and the questions that they're asking. Um, certainly staying on top of all the latest technologies is key because there are so many different tools out there to figure out what we can implement that may drive it into the future and staying on top of all the latest technologies. And then not thinking of our blog as the only source of content, being more comprehensive in our approach with our website and having the information that we want to convey as a more comprehensive website and digital platform strategy versus a singular blog. Now, the blog is a great place to put information out there and regularly publish information, but it's not the only place. That's true. And of course, uh, I, I, certainly in my own experience, I find the blog can be a feeder for other things, uh, um, either um, more in-depth articles which become permanently placed elsewhere or uh, for social media feeds and other things like that. Absolutely. Right. Well, uh, Heather, I, I've really enjoyed this conversation. I want to give you an opportunity. Is there any, any final thoughts or any, any observations you want to share at this point? Um, final thoughts would be just a little bit more advice to write about what you know and use your own internal resources. I mean, we have so many great people with such extensive knowledge within all of our different companies, and it's been so wonderful for us to be able to pull from that knowledge base and share that with our customers and all of our readers. And then the second part of that would be to stay up to date with all the latest technology and know what's coming because it's constantly evolving that we've found that staying on top of that will help us be much more successful. So I would recommend anybody watching this or considering creating a blog or managing a website right now to do the same. Well, thank you. That is uh, very solid and very useful advice. Heather, I, I really appreciate you giving the time for this interview, and uh, I, I appreciate your initiative in, in, in entering and in, in, in meeting the, the, the challenging of the competition for the 2017 Best Blog, and uh, I, I hope and wish you success in the future. Thank you very much for speaking with me, and uh, I will uh, post this on the Construction Marketing Ideas site and perhaps in edited form uh, applied in some of our original publications. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mark. So.